to show you is um, how to create a straight line with working with this wood without a CNC machine. So you would take and, you know, go ahead and draw your line out what, what, what you want to cut out. And this section right here is what I want to delete. So what I'll do is I'll take a jigsaw, run it all the way around here. And that way, once I use my router, my handheld router, I, I won't create so much dust, but I won't allow it to slip out of my hands and, and start um, jagging the edges up. And you see what I'm talking about? One second. So this right here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. And you can recreate a straight line just using a router. So I got all this stuff um, routed out and I, I do apologize. The only reason why I didn't show you exactly me routing this piece out with this handheld router. And this is um, a one fourth uh, flush trim bit is because I'm working on my fourth GoPro and dust gets inside those microphones on that GoPro and it didn't tore for So I decided just to, to snap some pictures of me finishing up, but let me explain to you exactly how to get this straight line like this. So what I did was took a couple scrap pieces of wood, lined it up how I wanted to get my design in here, and then I brad nailed it down all the way around so this doesn't move. Once I put pressure with this handheld router, you don't want this to move because if that moves just a little bit, it's gonna put a dip in it and you're gonna see it and just fudge your whole piece of work up. So, um, once you cut some angles out, however you want the design to look. So once I, I um, you know, cut my pieces of wood out, just scrap pieces of wood, brad nail it to the actual piece I wanted to cut. Um, I took my jigsaw and just cut out the center part because that little handheld router kicks up so much dust, it just gets everywhere. And so um, to keep it from actually moving off the of target and, and uh, jagging your wood up, I went ahead and cut a section out just to be on the safe side with my jigsaw. That way I, I'm not going so, so far into it. I'm just running across here and just making the line straight. And that's one of the, the um, tricks I've learned to make sure I'm not, um, you know, messing up any of the wood because if I, if I run a, a dip in it and it curves out a little bit, that means I'm gonna have to pull all that up, restaple a new piece of wood on it and just and recreate the straight line again. And it just looks horrible, you know? So once I got that finished up, I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna finish it up. Okay, I got step two done. As you can see, I created a straight line just by using a couple of pieces of scrap wood Brad nailed to the opposite side of this actual piece. That way I could achieve a straight line. And when I vinyl it, it won't have any issues by being crooked because I don't know if anybody ever vinyled anything. Once you vinyl over and you set it to the side, if it's farther away from you, you can see all the waviness in it. And then this is what I didn't want to happen. So right here, what I'll do is I'll take some Bondo because my router went a little bit too deep into that corner and I'll take some Bondo and just fill that in because like I said, once I vinyl it, I don't need to, that right there, that divot, it will show. So um, RGB lights here. I went ahead and went a half inch deep with my rabbit bit um, on my router. Um, and I'll run RGB lights all the way around, light this thing up. And tomorrow what I'll do is, I'm not sure what side I wanna come out of. It's probably gonna be both, but I'll take and I'll rabbit a line here. So once this goes down, the wires can go here and won't 
won't get um, get smashed by the pressure of the top and the bottom plate merging together. So this is what it'll look like. And I haven't figured out if I'm put tweeters here yet, but also I'll do a press in mesh grill from the backside, light it up, flush mount the speakers, and we'll get it wrapped. And that's gonna call, that's gonna be quits on this. This is for one of my online customers, so it needed to be to the T, and it needed to, to be how they wanted it, not how I wanted it. So I appreciate you tuning in. Stay tuned to my station. Like, subscribe, share this video, and all my subscribers, they get 10% off any of my online orders. I'm BJ from the 478, and I appreciate you checking me out.